Wally West and Sonic the Hedgehog have had a long history of going fast, but even the fastest of heroes have humble beginnings. So in this episode, we're going to feature Classic Sonic versus Kid Flash. We will be using Sonic Mania Classic Sonic and Young Justice Kid Flash. Let's see which rookie speedster has what it takes to win this battle. Let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's next round of fighters. Oh, wait, wait, Brian, wait! Now let's watch a whole bunch of ads. Oh. In the Young Justice universe, Wally West and Barry Allen are actually family, as Barry is the uncle to Wally West. Wally West was always a huge Flash fan, but little did he know that his life inspiration was actually his Uncle Barry. Once he figured out who the Flash really was, Wally saw this as an opportunity to become a superhero. Just two problems. One, he doesn't have any powers, and two, Barry is not a huge fan of sidekicks. Barry tried his best to keep Wally out of the crime-fighting business, but that didn't stop Wally from mimicking the exact same experiment that Barry did to get his powers. Wally tried to implicate Barry's testing, and and it resulted in him exploding the entire family garage and sent him to the hospital. This made Barry feel really guilty. He was trying to prevent Wally from getting hurt, which resulted in Wally getting hurt. Thus, Barry wanted to make it up to him by offering him notes that Wally could use to assist him. Once Wally made a full recovery, he got the powers that he dreamed of, and Barry finally gave in and allowed him to become Kid Flash. So what exactly are those powers and abilities that he was dreaming for? Of course, there is superhuman speed, endurance, reflexes, heightened senses, and an accelerated healing factor. Now, Kid Flash is not as fast as Adult Flash. In most cases, he can approach the speed of sound, which is Mach 1 or roughly 760 miles per hour. Now, at one point, he was fast enough to cross the continental United States from coast to coast while also going around the Great Lakes in just four hours. Wally can gain speed over time, which is why in long distance travel, he can get faster and faster, but on the flip side, in short ranges, he can't go too fast on the dime like Barry can. Wally can also create tornadoes and use them for range attacks and melee attacks, respectively. He has used wind blasts to knock people out from a distance, or can spin himself in order to knock them out hand to hand. One thing Kid Flash needs to do is constantly eat, since he has a hyper-accelerated metabolism. He can get really sick if he doesn't eat for 24 hours, so pretty much he's a normal human. In all seriousness, he needs food to activate his powers, which is why he has emergency food hidden under his right glove. His major weaknesses, of course, are inexperience since he is young, and the fact that he is not as powerful as Adult Flash. Hey, bruh? Yeah? <laughs> For this segment, I'm going to skip the origin of the meddling hedgehog. Sonic Mania ever so clearly shows that Sonic can easily reach speeds up to Mach 3 or roughly 2,280 miles per hour just from running. But this is only scratching the surface. So if you want more consistent faster than light speeds, we have to bring in the almighty Super Sonic. One of the fastest things we've seen classic Super Sonic do is travel from the asteroid belt all the way to Earth and at most, 10 minutes tops. This is a distance of 297 million 458,583 miles, as the asteroid belt is roughly three times further than Earth than the distance we are from the Sun. I know at most this only took 10 minutes because the sun never set on Angel Island and it was at near exact positioning in the sky before and after Sonic went to the belt. This would make Super Sonic roughly 2.7 times the speed of light. With all this in mind, Classic Sonic does indeed have his flaws. Considering he has far less experience than Modern Sonic and his combat style is a bit more limited. Modern Sonic is open to implementing martial arts into his combat techniques, while Sonic is far more strict towards homing and spin dash attacks. Overall, the blue blur is fast, brave, and does what Nintendo don't. <sighs> Say what? And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin!
and the winner is Classic Sonic. Wally may need to wait till he's older in order to get a win on Sonic, or you can watch the other Sonic vs. Flash episodes to see who wins that fight. But as for Classic Sonic vs. Kid Flash, this one is an easy stomp in Sonic's favor. Even in base form, Sonic is easily three times faster than Wally, which is enough for blitzing category. Once we bring in Super Classic Sonic, it's over. The dude then becomes so much more powerful that it's absurd. Even if stats were equalized, you can argue that Classic Sonic has way better intangibles. For one, he's much more independent and skilled on his own, whereas Kid Flash fights mostly in team situations and constantly needs mentorship. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, Classic Sonic would have the mental edge simply because he has way more one-on-one -on -one experience, making the winner of this battle Classic Sonic. On the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club!